Hey everybody, what's going on? This is me, Alex, and in today's video, I'm going to be discussing a few different things with you. One of the main things I want to discuss with you guys is my trip to Europe, and I'm going to be showing you guys or just telling you about why I'm not going to be able to make videos for you guys for three weeks. I'm leaving on the 25th of June, which is on a Wednesday, so this Wednesday, and I'm not going to be back till the 16th of June, so I'm going to stay a nice, hefty three weeks. Um, now, that's a long time without making videos. I don't know if I can actually do that. But I quickly wanted to let you know that this is definitely uh, not a reason why I'm leaving. Now, a lot of YouTubers do take vacations and they never come back. Well, I've taken three vacations so far and came back on all three. Um, so, yeah, I'm definitely going to come back to do more videos. Uh, as soon as I get back, I'm going to go purchase a PS4 and do an unboxing of that and hopefully buy a new tripod because uh, the one I have right now is terrible. I'm going to probably look forward to upgrading to the Manfrotto 504. 502 head one of those two uh, but they're a really really nice tripods I checked them out the Shutterbug store down in my city and they're really nice cameras so I am leaving out of here out of San Francisco airport um yeah I definitely recommend it go check it out uh, if you guys are there uh, I'm gonna be there so um pretty much that's what I want to tell you but there is one more thing I'm um, this is not my last video I'm gonna bring to you guys there's actually one more video and that video is going to be the what's in my bag so I'm gonna pack virtually and literally everything in my room is going to go in my bag and uh, not my monitors not my monitors not my real computers but my laptops what I'm using to record it now my cameras my camcorders not my microphone because I told you I'm not going to produce any videos out there because I'm not going to have time uh, but I'm going to take a lot of stuff and I remember I, I just realized oh crap I don't know I realized that Europe has a different power. So I went out and bought myself the World Adapter Travel Kit. I don't know if you guys saw the unboxing. And I really have to just use this uh, box right here. I have to use this thing right here. And this is what everything runs off of. It's basically Europe's power adapter. And that's what it looks like. I, I was really surprised to see it. That's what it looks like right there. That's Europe's power adapter. And that was really surprising to me because I was never sure uh, your travel after I've been there once but I really was little so I didn't really pay attention but that's what it is um, and and I remember I had to go unbox that go check out that video by the way it's a really good video and uh, I, I really was surprised of how it changed and how they're just like dots they're just two little dots sticking like that and one more good news I did get my 5d mark 3 if you noticed I do have autofocus now right there it is my finger it focuses in there on my finger on my hand I have autofocus no more follow focus no more of that stuff. It's all out of focus. Do some test shots right there. There it is. All, all out of focus stuff. Uh, definitely love this camera. I got it a few years ago, but the only problem was I had to get the mirror clean recently, and that really definitely uh, took a while because I had to ship it back all the way to Canon, which is in Japan. They cleaned it for me because I didn't want anybody else touching it for me. Uh, free shipping. Definitely like them. Go check out Canon.com for more of their products and incorporated incorpor incorporated products. I really love the 5D Mark III, especially with the 24 to 1 to 5 millimeter lens, as well as the 50 millimeter 1.2 L lens. I love and adore those lenses. I use them all the time in my shots to produce video for you guys. In the past few videos, I've been using uh, the Canon T3, which is over here. I don't know if you guys can see that. That is my Canon T3 right over there so I am using the 5D Mark III to shoot this video for you guys there it is Canon EOS T3 I uh this camera is great it's a nice point and shoot camera since it does actually do take the shutters um I really do like it, it does take pretty good video here let me actually take a video of you guys of how I'm shooting this uh, video right here so that's pretty cool um I do like it I, I do love the the video actually it does give great 720p HD video at 24 frames per second which is actually really cool because none of the camcorders record that it's all the DSLRs and the professional C100, C300, C500s that record that it's all those kind of cameras and I'm watching myself right now thinking well should I upgrade to Z100? No I just upgraded to 5D Mark III when it first came out a few years ago that's enough that's a $4,000 camera with the lenses I've got to it another $1,600 camera for the additional lens I got the 50mm 1.2L that's a lot of money for a camera and I didn't want to quite get the C100 yet because I was thinking well, well, all I really do need is a body and maybe a few batteries and and the side grip. But I mean, the lenses are fine that I got. Those those are, those those do compatible. But I was looking at the cinema lenses. Those those lenses are expensive, and I was wondering if I should get them. But no, because I mean, I just got my camera. I'm fine. I'm happy with it. I do like it. I love the camera. It's working awesome. 
And uh, that's pretty much it for today, guys. If you guys enjoyed that video, please make sure to give it a thumbs up. Check out my channel for more videos, including tech review videos. If you guys like that, please make sure to give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you guys have already done so. Bye, guys. Until next time.